and welcome back. You know what Ooh. show this is? The DGB Talk. Yeah, I hope they do. Yeah, I'm just waking up. Yeah, I know. The roadie snake was curled up in the corner over there, folks, having a sleep next to one of the beer fridges. I wasn't having a sleep. I was having a, I was having a cozy tip. Yeah. Uh, you know who we are. And um, thank you, Angry. I don't know. That's why I'm hoping they know who we are. Thank you, Angry Anderson, for that fantastic intro again. There's a uh, Stone's Green Ginger bottle over there somewhere if the roadie snake hasn't got a hold of it. Get away from it. Oh, don't get oh. oh, geez, he spotted you, Angry. You better move, mate. Get away. Listen, I told you, we'll share that later. Yeah. If you believe that angry, then you you're like. Uh, I told you, you've got to go. You've got to go over. You've got to go down the road to the shop and get some and get some get some of the maiden hat. If you can find any, probably with all these hoarders around, I believe. Yes, uh, that brings us to our talk. Oh, folks, I am over you people panic buying over something as simple as a flipping flu. Get yes. a life, people. Other people need to have have food too. You know, not just you, not just you, mongrels. Because you must have amazing freezers out there. Seriously, buying all the top, all the meats out of all them shops, you must have, you must have a, you must have a refrigerated truck out the backyard. Yeah, I am literally disgusted beyond words. The words I would like to use to describe my feelings towards you: panic buying, hoarding, insensitive, thoughtless people, arrogant, greedy mongrels. I would like to use swear words, but obviously I cannot because this is live radio. I am disgusted with you lot. You ought to stop and think. Have a good long yeah, hard every, look at yourself. Every time you've been you've done this, every time you've listened to the government and all their BS. You ought to have a good long hard look at yourselves. Well, they need an uppercut, what they need. You, you should be disgusted with yourselves for the way you are acting. And I've got a fair idea of what minority's doing it. I won't say which ones, but I'll give you a fair little I'll give you a fair little hint. Yeah, I am disgusted with a lot of you. But you know, as I said before, folks, other people need to shop too and need to survive during this during this during this bloody lot of nonsense that's going on. Yes. Not just you lot. There are other people out there. Yeah. I think mean, about today, others. Today, I walked in my Warners and Coles this morning. There was a man standing there looking at the aisle where butter was. Not a single bit of butter to be found or margarine. Seriously, how much do you need to last you out to the oh say? Or the third day, because you guess what? It's not a lockdown, folks. You can still go to the flipping shops. You just need to put your little face nappy on, you dummies. Yes. And That's all you are is friggin' dummies. You're just complete idiots. You don't. You don't listen. You, you, you just. You, you just listen to what the government's tell you. Oh, rah, 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 I'm a crown. Oh, rah, rah, rah. Listen, get out of yourselves. Go out there, do what you normally would do, just do a normal shop. Because guess what? They're going to be open. Those roads down that got flooded out, they're going to be open soon. They're, they're working on it all now. They're working 24-7, them, them guys. So stop it with the friggin' hoarding. Yes, and on, now that we've had the tirade part of the talk... That's my rant for the year. Or sort of. That's the first rant for the year. Oh, by the way, folks, if you hear any strange noises, we actually have the shed open today. Yes, we've got the shed open for a bit of cool breeze. Yeah, it's too bloody hot otherwise. And on to a lighter note, uh, the roadie snake borrowed me uh, car to go to the shops, and he informs oh, me that. Um, oh, you mean you, you mean the certain uh, police vehicle that was following me all the way from Gordon Street? Yes. Well, sorry, Sydney Street, and on on the Gordon Street, all the way over towards BCF. I went towards BCF. He went the other way. Yes, he actually had a police car following him in my And by the way, guys, if you're, if you're listening, yes, I could see what you were doing. You were checking the vehicle. I could see you doing that. It's very funny. Whenever, whenever you see a police officer doing his little check in his car of when he, he spots the uh, one that I've got, folks, they do the check, and then suddenly, within a, what, 20, 30 seconds after you see him put the microphone back... Here it comes up nothing. They take off. Oh, now, he, he, well, this bloke, he, this bloke couldn't because he was going the same way as I was going, but you know. Yeah, it, it's hilarious, folks. It until, I, until, until I got to the turn off to get onto the bridge to go towards BCF that he was, he stayed in his lane and I got into my lane that I needed. 
And that's oh, another yeah. thing, folks. That's a whole that's a whole point of when you're driving. Know exactly which lane you're gonna be in because uh, don't be in one lane and all of a sudden, oh geez, I need to be over that one and jump two lanes or jump three lanes or get back into the lane you were going back into, then you want to get back into the lane over there. Because guess what? You're just an idiot and you're gonna cause an accident. Oh yeah. Have a think about it before you leave, folks. Because as I've said before many times, most of you lived here all your lives, so you should know the streets. Well and truly by now. And that's another thing, folks. You're out and about in your car. Be aware of your surroundings. Yeah, be aware of other vehicles beside you. Yes. And watch out of late for... Um, I'm, I'm a bike rider, folks. Not a push bike. I'm talking motorcycle. And I've noticed a lot of the bike riders in Mackay are not doing the right thing with their bikes. Some of them haven't got a brain. I don't know what's happening. It's like they go and get their bicycle... Especially those ones that have motocross bikes. Yeah, they go and get their, sorry, motor bike. I meant to say motorcycle, thinking that's what they should be riding instead. But they go to get their motorcycles. The guys on the road bikes, seem, and on, the, on the big road bikes, they know what they're doing. With yeah, them on the highway it's the roads. ones on the trail bikes and the no, ag yes. bikes and that. It's like they get go to the doctor and get their brain removed and just a little tiny bit of it left behind. Yeah. Oh. I'm yeah, not going to keep going on about that. Let's get on to the showcase with it tonight. Yeah, who have you got lined up? Uh, we have an American fellow called Buddy Brown. Now, you've been playing, uh, we've been playing one of his songs at the beginning of the. Straight everything. after the intro, that yes. song. Yes. Yeah. He's the, creator, he's the creator of that one. Take, your, take, take this mask and shove it. Keep listening, folks, because it's going to get played until all, this, until all that goes away. Until it goes away, yes. Yeah, that's for you and the Labour Party out there. That's for all of you moronic. Politicians. No, it's the Labour Party who started that nonsense. Yes, I'm talking to you. I'm, I'm talking to the one who's ne next door to the post office in town. Um, anyway, Buddy Brown. He's an American uh, country singer, and he speaks from the heart. He's like he's like us, you know. He's over all this nonsense. You know, let's get on with our lives. Learn to go back to the way we were in 2019 before we woke up one morning in 2020 and everything went mad. Oh yeah. So we've got a uh, little showcase of his, so it'll be basically a four shot of his actually, because yeah. we've got to play his uh, one we use now, after this, and uh, well, right after this, because you were... Yeah, well, we just heard it before, yeah, we just heard before, it before we started, yeah. So after this, there'll be another no, no, three shot of his, that's what I meant to say. But anyway, uh, yeah, he's a uh, very good singer, I've been, I've been listening to him since, oh, Back 2019, 2018. So he's got he's got quite a few good albums out there, uh, available uh, for any good uh, retail outlet. outlet. Yeah. Uh, just go in and ask him if they've got anything for my buddy Brown. I'm, it should be, should he's be got able to order it. Far as that or uh, failing that, you can find him on YouTube. Yeah, he's got. Uh, far as I know, Snake, he's got uh, four full albums and about three or four EPs. Yeah. So uh, sit back and enjoy these folks because he's very he's, he, he's, he speaks from his own heart, speaks his mind like I do. <coughs> That's if any idiots out there can understand me half the time. Uh, the, if they're woke keyboard warriors, they won't understand a word in their PC world. No, it's, it's hard enough with them stupid masks when they try to talk to talk people. Go what 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 what? Yeah. So, and, and as, as old mates have said before, take your mask and shove it. Anyway, uh, here's another three of Buddy Brown, so uh, let's get into it, man. Okay, here we go. See you next week, folks.